Welcome. Welcome to this tiny Bach concert in which we will hear Bach's well-known Prelude and Fugue in G major, BWV 541, in its seldom heard three movement form with the last movement of Trier Sonata No. 4 inserted between the Prelude and Fugue. Both works, the Prelude and Fugue and the Trier Sonata, have interesting histories. The Prelude and Fugue dates from Bach's Weimar years and was written around 1715 or so when Bach was 30 years old and in his prime. The famous Bach biographer Philip Spitta called the Weimar period the golden years of Bach's organ writing, for it was then that he composed the bulk of his organ works, including many of his greatest virtuosic hits. The Prelude and Fugue in G major is one of these. It's an eclectic piece. On the one hand, pays homage to Bach's North German heroes, Johann Adam Reinken and Dietrich Buxtehude, for the work contains an obligato pedal part calling for fancy footwork throughout. And the prelude begins with the solo passage for hands alone, like so many of Buxtehude's big organ preludia. And the fugue subject makes playful use of repeated notes, a favorite gesture of the North Germans. But on the other hand, Bach has Italianized the entire idiom. The rhythm is now strict and motorized, like that of a Vivaldi concerto. The harmonic scheme has smooth sequences and modulations in the manner of Italian chamber music. And both the prelude and fugue have nicely balanced forms. In the prelude, a set theme called a ritornello returns at regular intervals. In the fugue, two large sections for manual and pedal frame a middle segment for hands alone. And at the conclusion of the work, Bach pulls out all the stops by bringing the fugue to a complete halt and then presenting the subject in stretto or overlapping entries of the theme. Bach clearly worked out this contrapuntal trick ahead of time, but he withheld the combination until the very end of the piece, much like a shrewd poker player majestically pulling an ace from his hand at the last minute to take the game. Bach must have considered the Prelude and Fugue as one of his very best organ works, for almost 20 years later, in 1733, when his oldest son Wilhelm Friedemann applied for an organist position in Dresden, Bach pulled the piece off the shelf and wrote out a revised clean copy for the audition, in which Friedemann presumably passed it off as his own creation. Bach had already written a letter of application on Friedemann's behalf, and it was perhaps these types of pushy, helicopter dad actions that contributed later to Friedemann's troubled life as an adult. While the Prelude and Fugue in G major is securely handed down as a Prelude-Fugue pair, Bach appears to have experimented at one point with turning it into a three-movement work in the manner of an Italian concerto by inserting an existing organ trio movement between the Prelude and Fugue. He chose the last movement, on poco allegro or a bit fast, from Trio Sonata No. 4 in E minor for organ, BWV 528. The Trio Sonata fits nicely with the Prelude and Fugue, since it is in E minor, an appropriate key for the middle movement of a concerto in G major, and its theme has repeated notes that foreshadow the repeated notes in the subject of the fugue. Ironically, the Trio Sonata has a tie with Wilhelm Friedemann as well, since Bach is said to have written a set of six works specifically for his oldest son to further burnish his already highly polished organ technique. The trio sonatas are exceedingly demanding, technically, and it's likely that at the time, the only people on the planet who could play them were Bach and a handful of his very best students. The three-movement version of the Prelude and Fugue in G major appears to have been nothing more than a passing fancy for Bach for he soon returned the work to its original two-movement form. But what an interesting passing fancy, this flirtation with the three-movement format, as you will hear in the present performance. I should note by way of conclusion that René and Lepret will play the three-movement version of the Prelude and Fugue in G major on the organ behind me, the instrument recently installed in our home in Somerset, New Jersey, Opus 48, Paul Fritz Organ Builders in Tacoma, Washington. It is a mechanical action instrument with 12 stops, including a full principal course and a dulcian on the lower manual, flutes and cornet on the upper manual, and an eight-foot borden 
and 16-foot Subas on the pedal. It also has a wind-driven Cymbalstern and a variable tremulant. The metal pipes of the organ were hand cast on a bed of sand in the 17th century tradition of organ building, which gives them a special deeply resonant tone, as you will now hear. (laughs) 